hello guys hope you guys are well thank you for joining me again for another video if you're not a subscriber do hit that subscribe button and join the family thank you to my old and new subscriber guys today's look is a very dark brown makeup tutorial this is all matte makeup tutorial guys like as you can see my brown my dark brown lip and i paired it with a chocolate brown eyes and i just wanted to keep it matte and simple guys hope you guys like this makeup tutorial if you want to see how i come up with this makeup look you know what to do stay tuned for this video okay guys i'm going to start by filling my brows with my mua wrap pencil I'm going to take the natural collection brow gel and this is the shade dark brown I'll use the foundation I'm going to use to clean up the brows Okay guys, today I'm going to do my eyes first. I'm going to prime my eyes with my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use my Georgiana eye pencil. So I'll just use this as the base for my eyeshadow. Just blend that out using my finger. Now I'm going to take my Juvia Place palette. I'll be blending that out with this F eyeshadow blending brush. So I'm just applying that on my crease. I'm blending it to the front of my eyes. So just sweeping it around my crease. With the same blending brush going for more of a matte look all the eyeshadow i'm going to be using today are going to be matte colors so i'm blending that on top of that color to take my kiko infinity eyeshadow the number 235 i'm going to pat that on my lid guys With a very small blending brush, this blending brush is by BH Cosmetic. I'm going to take Corrupt by Makeup Geek, this black color right here. I'm just going to use it to define my crease. Because the black eyeshadow is very pigmented, so I'm using a light hand. Using the 6 plus blending brush, I'm just going to use that to diffuse that black on the crease. I'm going to take the big F blending brush to use that to blend out any harsh line. So guys, after doing that, I'm going to use my MUA eyeliner pencil. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that corrupt eyeshadow. Now I'm using the same blending brush from BH Cosmetic. Just going to use that to define the eyes a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to prime my face using my Kiko Matte Base Primer and my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer.
okay guys for foundation i'm going to use my maybelline fits me foundations i'm going to use the color 338 but it is all over my face I'm going to use my original beauty blender to blend this up. Now I'm going to highlight with the 340 and the 330. I have the two at the back of my hands. Just mix that together. blender and blender out it's a nice way to use your light foundation on your face I use and apply the foundation I use that to blend out any harsh line to set this in place I'm going to use my number seven perfect light press powder and this is the shade dark I'm going to use the beauty blender press that into my face I decided not to use any translucent powder today. Okay, guys, and now I'm looking a bit white. The sun is up and it's messing up with the lighting. I'm going to contour using the Kiko Infinity eyeshadow in the number 235. I'm using this fluffy contouring brush from 6 Plus. To powder the rest of my face and bring everything together, I'm going to use my Kiko face powder. Then I'll blend that out using the F powder brush. Now I'm going to spray my face with my Maro Bodesco facial spray. I'm going to be highlighting my face using my Juvia Place palette. This two shade to highlight my face. For blush, I'm going to take this color right here. For my lip, I'm going to use the Georgiana eyeshadow that I use for my eyes. Then I'm going to use this brown lipstick from MJC Cosmetic. For my under eyes, I'm going to use my MEA Jet Black Eyeliner. Then I'm going to add these two transition color I use for the eyes. Then I'm going to put the highlighter at the inner tail dot of my eyes. My Miss Potty Mascara, my top and bottom lashes. Now I'm going to spray my Avon setting spray.
Choke you down to 